What's up guys, Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC and welcome to our product spotlight for the Sand 2 Jacket from Revit. All right guys, so this is a Sand 2 from Revit. Now Revit is known for making extremely high quality, high technical gear in that adventure lineup. We love this jacket, it's very popular, and that's why we wanna to talk to you guys about it today. So I got my man Zach here with me. Zach is five foot nine, he's 215 pounds. He has a 43 and a half inch chest. He's wearing an extra large in this jacket. Now when we talk about sizing with this jacket, I'm gonna say this jacket goes more towards a European cut, which means it's gonna fit a little bit tighter in the chest and torso area, and it's not gonna be as generous in that hip as some of your American cut jackets. So keep that in mind. When you're buying this jacket, if you're right between sizes, I would recommend going to size up, especially if you like to rock a lot of base layers, you definitely wanna size up with this jacket. Now looking at it, a lot of protection and a lot of functionality built into this jacket. Starting out with the shell, you're getting a mix of five and 600 denier on the outside of this shell. And also right here on the forearms and those high abrasion areas, you are gonna get a 1200 denier, they call it a power wax shell right here. That's gonna be extremely abrasion resistant. Now if I have Zach turn for me, from a protection standpoint, Revit is using what they call their pro-life armor. It's not a molecular armor. However, it maintains the same physical properties no matter what temperature you're riding in. So it's always gonna stay comfortable and feel the same. That's really, we like the pro-life armor from Revit. Looking at that, it is CE rated. You're getting that armor in the shoulders and the elbows on both sides. If you want to, Revit does have their C soft back pad that you can upgrade to. And that is actually a level two CE rating on that. And we'll talk about that more a little bit later here with the jacket. Safety, you are gonna get a lot of reflective piping on the jacket up here in the chest, as well as on the arms that go along with that high abrasion and that high impact resistance that you're getting. Lots of adjustability on this jacket. If we look right here on the inner bicep, you are gonna have adjustment straps up here on the forearm, so you're really gonna be able to cinch those down. And down here at the bottom on the torso, Zach's got dual straps, so he's really gonna be able to cinch this down and make sure that he doesn't have any excess material flapping around in the wind. So that's a great touch from Revit. Now for ventilation, I really like what Revit's done. They've given giant vent ports on this jacket to make sure on those hot days, if you want more air to come in, it's gonna allow a lot of air to pass through. Starting out with the arm here, they have these giant vent zippers that go basically all the way down the entire arm. So if we unzip it here, now a lot of people kind of ask, why did they put the zipper underneath this strap on the arm here? They've actually done that. So when this is fully open, like I said, allows a ton of airflow to come through the arm. And they've done that so if you did have a crash and this is open, that's gonna really prevent this seam and this uh, air intake from getting ripped open. So it's actually meant to protect the durability of the jacket. That's why it goes underneath that arm strap there. So you're getting those on both sides. That's gonna give you a lot of ventilation. Here on the chest, you do have two giant massive vent zips on each side of the chest. And what they've done, if I have Zach turn just a little bit for me, they actually have these pull tabs right here. So if you undo this and you pull on it, what it does is it's actually gonna make sure that this vent right here is gonna stay open. So on those hot days when you want the maximum amount of airflow, you can take this tab, you can pull on it, it's gonna make sure that vent stays open. So again, very technical gear coming in from Revit. That's why we like the design of this jacket. They've really thought it through make sure it's gonna function extremely well while you're out riding. So like I said, this is the front of the jacket. Here on the front, I do wanna point out from a safety standpoint, Revit is the only jacket company we see that is making their jackets compatible with a neck brace. You can rock the Moveo or the Liat neck brace with this jacket. So these tabs right here are designed to go with those. They also do have a high vis chest vest that you can wear if you want more visibility while you're out riding. You can connect that high-vis vest to the front of this jacket and that's gonna give you that added protection as well. Now down here at the bottom, you are gonna have these two large cargo pockets that are gonna have these storm flaps. That's gonna help shed the water off. So if you have anything in there, it's gonna keep the water off of those. And a nice touch from Revit that we see, you actually have hand warmers with these pockets. So if Zach puts his hands in there, this is one of the only jackets I've seen that has hand warmer pockets, and I'm not gonna lie to you, they actually do come in handy if you're off the bike, if it is chilly, it is nice to be able to put your hands in there and just have that added warmth with this jacket. Now up here at the top, when we talk about adjustability some more, you are gonna have this nice 
uh, fleece lining on the inside of the collar, so this is gonna be comfortable to wear all day, and you are gonna have neoprene around the top here, so Zach's not gonna have any chafing when he's wearing this. Now up here on the collar snap, another great feature from Revit, they've actually made this snap adjustable. There's five different locations, so depending on your neck size, you can adjust this snap. That's gonna make sure you really get a customized, comfortable fit when you're out riding with this jacket on. Now if I have Zach turn around for me and face the back, so here on the back, again, a lot of big piping on the back to make sure you're gonna be visible. You are gonna have a hydration bladder pouch here on the back. If you want to, it does not come included, but you can get a hydration bladder, you can put that in there. And there are gonna be loops on the front where you can route your SIP tube. You are gonna have large vents here in the back. Again, that is gonna make sure that this jacket's gonna have a lot of airflow and it's gonna stay cool on those hot days. Now down here at the bottom, you are gonna have a nice big stretch panel here it's gonna make sure it stays comfortable, it fits well. And down here at the bottom, we undo this Velcro here. You're getting a very large rabbit pouch here in the bottom that is designed to hold a lot of gear. So this is a three layer jacket. You have two inner liners. You can take those out and easily store those here in this rabbit pouch. So that's a great thought from Revit. So Zach, turn back around for me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unzip this and I'm gonna show you the guts of this bad boy. So big burly zippers on the front. We unzip it and look here. So this first liner you're seeing, all right? This is gonna be your Hypertex waterproof liner. The shell is not gonna be waterproof, it's water resistant. However, the waterproof is gonna come from this inner Hypertex liner and that does have these big storm flaps. So when you're wearing that, you can close that over. You're really gonna make sure you're not gonna get any moisture to the body. However, it is gonna allow you to breathe so that sweat can evaporate through this membrane. So if we undo that and look at it, it is zip in, it is gonna be removable. So if you wanna take it out, you can rock just the shell by itself. That's a great feature. Now up here at the top on the inside, again, fleece lining on all your liners. Revit's made sure this jacket's gonna be very comfortable to wear no matter how long you're wearing it. So that's your Hypertex inner liner. Now if we do unzip that one, now we're getting into your thermal liner that they have. This is your third layer of this jacket. It's a zip in liner. It's not gonna be waterproof and you are gonna be able to take it out if you want to. So a lot of versatility with this jacket, which is what we like. You can wear just the shell, you can have the shell with the waterproof liner, or you could have just a shell and that thermal liner if you're not worried about any rain while you're out riding. So a lot of adjustability, a lot of functionality with this jacket. If I have Zach look, or open it up here, no, no bells or whistles, not a lot of thrills. You are gonna have a couple of pockets. In the back, you are gonna have zippers that are connect, gonna connect the jacket to the pant that Zach is wearing. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take the jacket off of Zach and we're gonna take out each shell and show you each one individually so you know exactly what is inside this jacket. So now here we have the Revit Sand 2 completely open. We're gonna walk through one by one each of the layers in this jacket. So starting out, this is gonna be your thermal base layer. This is what's gonna keep you warm. And you are gonna have one pocket here on the inside. So if I take this completely out, like I said, one pocket here on the inside, it is gonna clip into the inside of your Hypertex waterproof liner. So that's your insulating liner. Now if we put this to the side, we look, Next, this is gonna be your Hydratex, in, your waterproof liner on the inside. You are gonna have one waterproof pocket here on the left side. Now, one thing is nice that they've done, if I take this out and look, if you don't wanna wear the thermal liner and you wanna wear just the Hypertex waterproof liner with the shell, they still have jacket to pant zippers here on the inside of this. And you actually have one long and one short. So that's gonna be your preference which one you wanna use. But you'll still be able to connect that to the pant if you don't wanna wear the thermal liner. So that's gonna be your Hydratex waterproof lining on the inside. Now if we look at the inner guts of the actual shell itself, you're gonna have a, a mesh lining throughout the entire inside, two pockets, one on each side. And again, if you don't wanna wear the waterproof liner, or the thermal insulator on the inside, you still have that jacket to pant zipper here. So really, they allow you to wear this any way that you want to. Looking at it, a lot of design and function. Again, you're not gonna get a back pad with this jacket, but if you want to, it comes prepared for that sea soft armor for the back pad if you wanna purchase that separately. And another great feature about the Sand 2 from Revit, they have their cooling vest that you can get separately that goes and zips to the inside of this jacket. It's designed to keep your chest and your body temperature down on those hottest days. 
So this is a Sand 2 from Revit. Now remember, go to our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com where you can shop and see the full details on this jacket. And we also have the pant that matches it, so make sure you check those out as well. Look at the sizing guide so you know what size you are gonna need to order. If you are concerned about fit, we have our fit guarantee. So if you get a size, if you're not happy with it, if you wanna go up or down, just send it back to us. We will make sure you get the correct size on that first exchange free of charge. Now the last thing I need you to do before I let you go, it's real simple. Click and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave us your thoughts and comments on this gear. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain, and we'll see you on the trails.